we love hip hop. Like, Abby just sitting there yeah. while these guys well, are screaming at right? each other. And meanwhile, they're staring at it and being like, "Oh, this Black Friday." <laughs> oh, in the mix up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're this. in the arena, like you're you're like <laughs> in the trenches of the war. You're a referee. You're in the ref. Ducky you're punches. the punches. <laughs> Man are coming after you. Referee. <laughs> yeah. Dodging, <laughs> dodging, <laughs> dodging knife. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you know, <laughs> referee, <laughs> referee is crazy. Right? So that's that's like to me, he has a good point. But back and forth when I'm hearing about the other sides of things like chains and da, 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 my young boys look like this and blah, da, 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 that's all a bunch of like, that's just part of the bravado of rap. But right? you know, you know what's so crazy? I, I was t- so I rather en- that. Yeah. I was so entertained by that. I like watched every single slide of them going back and forth with the roasts. And like, it yeah. was like, it, it was like, I can't lie. I was entertained, even though it's like. On one side, you could be like, why are you promoting that? But I'm like, yo, I used to even just listen to like spaces of rappers beefing in Toronto just like because it's entertaining, you know, the the way they roast each other. Very much so. But then it does give the boy them a little bit of a lead to walk on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Whether they're acting cool with each other or not in those spaces. You get what I mean? They got out of control. Yeah. So it's just like, man. (laughs) It's literally like throwing a match on on a bunch of car tires. Yeah, that are already fueled up with gasoline, ready to go. It's got, you know. Yeah, it, it, it gets it gets spooky out there, dog. And like, shit can tumble. We, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If it's serious like that, let's just say we're all playing some action figure shit. Like this is a, a scene out of the WWE right now. Motherfuckers is playing a good goddamn role. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I don't think none of them is acting. All right. No, this All is right. not. Yeah. You really, wish it was, really right? Mad at each other. You wish it was, though. There's real bodies that have. Uh, I don't even know them. about Which is kind of mess. Which is kind of mess, mess why even someone like me is entertained by them going back and forth because it's like, nah, this is real. Someone, there could be repercussions to even them just talking, but here I am, like, laughing at, like, oh, they're roasting each ah, other. Or he said this, he said that. That's why. And it's not just me. It's people, it's, other people like me, yeah. too, you know? The comments are going crazy. But yeah. am I wrong for being entertained by that? Should I just not consume it? Or, you it's know a, what I'm it's saying? It's energy. If we give, if we put more fuel into it, then, yeah, something bad could happen because we're adding fuel to fire. Mm. You understand? You're adding oxygen. You know? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's deep. So, some things are supposed to be, like, yo, if Toronto was moving more like the mob, yeah, what happened in, in the mob stays in the mob type of shit. Mm. Bro, we'd have these little American people fooled, but then when they get really down and they understand, we don't we don't play, yeah. right? There's a mm. way of the code that we kind of skipped over. These younger generation kind of skipped over the code of keeping it kind of quiet, you know mm. what I mean? And, and not showing our, our hand yeah. and playing the poker face and being more mucky about it. Like, there's no more sleaziness. I don't see that it's really out in the open. Like, I'll know you're coming for me, nigga. I used, like, niggas want, like, before it'd be like, bro, you wouldn't even know that guy's going to get you because he'd be shaking your hand. Yeah, but, I, I you know, I got to push back a little bit. Okay. I feel that we've been on this trying to copy the American wave for so long. And not just copy the American wave, but prove to them that we got, we got our own issues over here. But that's what I'm saying. But see, if you were keeping it more, more in, in-house, if we had more rules to this shit yeah. and was keeping it really in-house, right, a lot of our rappers would still go because they wouldn't know what's really going on to, to shy away from them. So, we're, yeah, you're right. They're trying too hard to be American. Part of this the, is Canadian, them, not showing them nothing. Yeah, but part of the getting popping is showing people what's going on. You're talking to a man who's on the real Toronto. Fan. I hear you. When that popped and everybody found out that there was hoods and mans had guns over here, that was viral before viral was a thing. Yeah, but how many mans went to jail from that yeah. viral shit? There's repercussions, obviously. Thank you. Right? Thank you. Thank you. But Toronto's never the, been like that the, before until quote then. Quote, unquote, Things that the words that we have now to explain these things or words that we use like clout and stuff like that. Yeah. That was like given because of like, yo, fam, yo, man's are, you all got hoods out there. Yo, man's, man's go hard. Oh, shit, y'all, y'all are gangster. You know what I'm saying? And people have been like, nah, you Canadians are soft. Canada is so polite, all that. And man's are like, nah, fam, we're not soft, fam. Yes. Niggas in the States been think that so Canada's soft forever, so, bro. For sure. I know that. And then they come down here and get, 
getting jacked up. Yeah, but why do <laughs> the the these what? niggas want to wait for them to come down here to wait. see it? We can show you on camera uh, now. Ah, see, that's where we slip. Because like you go to little places in Europe where there's niggas too, little, and they're worse than us. Yeah, but nobody but we, care about them, bro. No, we care. They care. It's just that they rule with organized organized shit yeah but the world don't, they don't yeah. have the world spotlight fam but there's still some of probably the more, more violent places because they got rules it's to this shit they don't want the spotlight they don't, they don't want, want the it, spotlight yeah. but they, and they're still known for doing what they do around the, those places it's just it's and and there's still a rapper that will come out of those places because they get the gold and we're not shying away from them yes they but know business. those places for the world view toronto as far as like the negative shit they did their job fam Traplor Ross from the UK made a whole documentary, an hour documentary about called Murder in the Six because these niggas have publicized their gangster so much that people are like, yo, Toronto's got a crazy scene up there. Always has. Yo, you heard about Toronto? Yeah, da, 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 da. Sure. Like in other places. It so always has though. It's a negative thing. Yeah. But it worked. It worked. Top five is one of the most popular rappers over Very there so. who's in jail. He paid the consequences or he's paying the consequences, right? But he's become one of the most popular guys out there because he showed how gangster he is. You know what I'm saying? So like, yes, it's bad. But as far as getting the attention from everybody, it's freaking working. Um, but, bad man moving in silence. But how many so like... That's yeah. what I know, right? Yes. That's but where we come the from. The bad men who are moving in silence don't want to be popular rappers, bro. Well, yeah. The popularity doesn't work in their favor. It's yes. They're not, not going to gonna get popular. popular moving in silence. These men who are like, yo, this but, is what I do. This is how my hood is. This is yeah. the name of my hood. This is the name of my clique. Da, da, da. Like, Glorifying they, they it makes it from popular. The, yeah, they make videos you're... about it. Now people are like, yo, wow, I heard of Driftwood. Yo, I heard of Jungle. In like Tallahassee, my guy. Mm. But how many uh, artists from the Toronto drill scene from this exposure were There's able no to Toronto have? Toronto drill scene. They're, no, they're, 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 they're all losing it, losing from it, mm. but they've gained Bare popularity, fam. That's it. Yeah, there's bare reaction videos on from the American niggas on niggas up here. That's only gonna mm -hmm. get you so much pum pum. <laughs> what are they doing this for? Put but how many of them have mind. achieved like legitimate success as like a Thank like financial bro, success? Bro, they're all in jail, fam. Yeah, you don't it. even have to, it's, fam. All right. Trap Geek, okay? Uh -huh. He has two videos that are on big Toronto rappers. Trap Geek is another American like documentary YouTuber, okay? Both over a million views. Guess who they are? Casper and K Money, right? So to, to, to both yeah. of them, right? But they it's because they had crashed out at the time. Big video on them, 1.9 million views. The other person he has a video on, Young Lava, the the uh, Toronto's Tay K, they called it. One whatever million views that's sitting on. Them niggas get any money from them niggas for that shit? No. Okay. And where's me. Young Lava right now? In jail. Mm, so, but he gained so much notoriety to the point where Trap Geek found out who he was and decided to make a video, right? Mm -hmm. But it's for what? <laughs> our biggest artists from Toronto aren't even from th that scene of our, of the music industry in Toronto. So they're not from the. They're from even, like Drake didn't come up in that Toronto in gully, like, gully. Yeah, yeah, that style of Toronto hip hop. You Toby. know what I'm saying? Toby, Havaya, Havaya Mighty. Yeah, like, come mm. on, guys. There's mm. other ones too. You know what I mean? So, yeah, they're touring, they're doing their thing. They're and chilling. they have the actual, yeah. actual finance. They're getting SoCan checks. They're getting, you know, like, they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, fam. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter if they had a little bit of poverty in their life. They got up out of it and kept it going, right? They're a little bit different from the other ones. Yeah. Right? So, so what happens is, you ever seen a dog chase their tail? What do they say when a dog chases his tail? What's up with the dog? Yeah. They're crazy. So, so next year, it's going to be the same thing. They're going to figure out a reason to beef again because they feel nothing's happening because there's no motion off of that. Yeah. You're only getting a little bit of... Uh, you got to repeat it over and over again. Yeah, right? You get uh, clout. You get some girls. Yeah, you know and then after imagine going to be like, yo, he's been silent for a bit. Where is he at? And then he's just going to pick a guy and just be like, you. All right. You're a dog. You know yeah, what I mean? There we yeah. go. Beef. Da -da 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 -da. And then I'm going to put out some music, get a couple of views, you know, get some new... Get some new diamonds, get some new whatever, whatever. But it's not from the music. But it's like it's just it's just the look right now. Yeah. It's for me to it's, say I'm doing rap music in my spare time when I'm you know or after I'm dealing with dog food. Like, come on, let's be real. You know what mm, I'm saying? Yeah. So the ones that are really going is the ones who don't have to be out there selling dog food and don't have to even beef. Like you can hate these guys all you want, be in their comments and being like, oh, you're shit, you're shit. But they can't see that because they're on tour. They're really doing what they have yeah. to do. They got priorities to make. They got appointments to make. They got, you know what I mean? People Interviews and, to do. Yeah, and, and people and, and kids to, 
like and babies to kiss. Yeah. Radio yeah. stations to go, go freestyle. Ah, uh, man, so we don't want to come to the radio because nah, they think the fucking app is gonna be there, dog. Yeah. yeah, they don't want to show face. Nothing. Sitting there waiting yeah. for them. Coming through with Ski a mask. Up. Yeah, ten like, niggas come on, yeah. like, to come and spit your verse, bro. That's rap. But that, they they see these other ones doing it right and doing it proper. Why aren't they like, you know, they see, see that the formula they're trying to go at with the beef and all that. Because doesn't to, work because they're running because in circles. That, that, to them, that's not real enough. So it, it, it starts with the rapper too. That's why I say there's a little code to it that they're missing. Like we're not supposed to know really. We we can know what's going on through the music, whatever, whatever, right? But it's then when it adds to like where you're getting on the live and then really talking yeah. about it or tight, that's where you're letting it known. So obviously the blogs are going to see it and pick it up and have some juicy info and intel to go talk about. Yeah. Now, you, now you're letting them know what's you're going on too much you're actually speaking you're like it's almost like it's almost like you're doing therapy online nigga yeah you know what i mean yeah you, you, you and that's crap that to me is almost crashing out a little bit too because like if you were really gonna do something to these motherfuckers you wouldn't put nothing online saying they're bitches or they're nothing mm. i would actually wouldn't you follow just, you just I would, go do it i would i would have followed them my my all my mans them would not be talking to about them saying nothing yeah and where we see them is on like donkey kong right so why would i then that means i need this for in, i need this for entertainment cuz we're both trying to get out right You're, everybody who we're talking about is rappers in the end of the day if it's not like we're just watching hood niggas who got issues beefing with each other that are just, and we don't even know why they're beefing, da, 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 we're just like, oh, look, look at Tyrone from this hood and Tyrell from the other hood beefing. Nobody cares about that, fam. Those guys have bare issues that are outside of the rappers. We only care about what the rappers are doing. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of the day, the only reason we know is because there's rappers from all these different hoods who have issues who represent these hoods and then, or we know we wouldn't know shit but then i sit back and i have to wonder how the fuck y'all get into all these issues <laughs> like yeah. how, where, where did you guys have time to really get how do you guys have time no they're inheriting hood beefs but how did you have time it's, it's not their beef so personally. Did you go they're the, just the representative yeah exactly which, they're which, not beefing their hoods are beefing and they're the representatives of said i hoods. know that right but i'm mm. saying like there there's the mathematics though Right? The Where's only the reason time? they have an issue with each other because they're from another hood, and I make better music than you. Now they start mixing into the their yeah. arguments. Yeah, I, yeah, I'll, I'll or whatever play. else, whatever else they know about what happened in the past or something. It yeah, couldn't even have been them. It's just like yeah, yeah, I used to do this. Yeah, they didn't yeah, even yeah. Know, never even met each other. <laughs> yeah, but then doesn't doesn't that make the whole why aren't we collabing argument like even more stupid because like it's not your beef, it's your your you know what you're representing. Well. Yeah. We love hip hop.